Yeah, City top of the shop. Our reporter Adam Reid joins me now. Um, we'll speak about City in a moment. Chelsea, though, what a start for their new signing. Yeah, it was a great start for Pedro, wasn't it, Matt? Because uh, it was a, only a week ago that they were kind of in disarray and Pedro comes in and for the first half in particular, they played some sensational stuff. Real throwback to last season, particularly going forward. The uh, the second goal they scored, that, that Costa scored, it was a great flowing counter-attack that Pedro was involved in. He scored the first goal as well um, and it really could be the catalyst of of what they needed because uh, before that they weren't sure I mean they could have gone 1-0 down it could have been very different but the fact that uh, West Brom missed that penalty you've got to take your chances against these big sides and uh, Chelsea made them pay uh, it was a bit tight at the end mm. but at the same time they, they got their win but for one player things seem to be going from Average to slightly worse. Yeah, for the second game running, John Terry doesn't finish the game. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, again, for a, a less than happy reason for him. Taken off at half-time against Manchester City. Sent off against West Brom. Uh, it was He was running back, maybe got exposed for pace as, as he could well do as he gets older. But uh, he came up against Solomon Rondon and uh, he had too much pace for him. And, and, and Terry ended up hauling him down. And now... He's going to be out of the side for, for three games and uh, it's going to be Cahill and Zuma and who knows, that might make them put another bid in for John Stones. And uh, Manchester City, uh, the early pace setters, the, the ones to watch so far after three games. Well, what, what can you say about City? They've done everything that can be asked of them and more. Again, very impressive in the goals that they scored against Everton. It wasn't completely uh, their own way, winning 2-0, but uh, they've, they've scored a lot of goals. They've scored eight goals so far in the Premier League. They've topped the Premier League already. They're, they are, they've got nine points from, from, from uh, their three games and they've got goal difference of plus eight. They've been the top goal scorers in the league for the past couple of years anyway. But now that they've already off and running and uh, they've, got, they've got firepower everywhere. They've got Aguero is, is fit. They've got Sterling starting to gel, David Silva and even Yaya Torre, a sublime pass for Nasri's goal, a blind pass, flicked over the top and, and uh, they, they're going from strength to strength.